One of the major strengths of a QSYS system is the network that facilitates it, known as QLAN. Instead of creating unique proprietary networking equipment that only works with a few products, QSYS operates on the global standard of network equipment and protocols. This means that the networks of many facilities are already equipped to run QSYS without upgrades, and new networks can take advantage of lower costs and broad equipment choices driven by the global information technologies industry. QLAN transports audio stream packets using Layer 3 network protocols like UDP IP that IT staff implement and troubleshoot on a daily basis. But if you're not network savvy, that may not mean a whole lot to you. What, what does that mean, though? Sorry. Those aren't words. Okay. Uh, what is you know wrong what? Why don't with we just you? Take a brief walkthrough of networking in general, and then you'll have a better idea of how QLAN operates. Let's start at the beginning. When two devices, such as a QSYS core and your desktop computer, need to communicate with each other, the data transmitted goes through several stages. This is called the Open Systems Interconnection 7-Layer Model, and was established as the global standard by the International Organization for Standardization in 1984. These layers are Application, Presentation, Session, Transport, Network, Data Link, and Physical. Each of these layers only communicates with the layer directly above or below it, so that as new technologies are developed, they can be implemented without having to overhaul the entire model. The application, presentation, and session layers are all software application-based. You could consider this to be the packaging and encrypting of data that happens between when you hit send on an email and before it heads out of your computer. Layer 4 adds a layer of transport information to your data, which will identify what type of data it is, and this is done using ports. Different ports are used for different types of information. For instance, HTTP web traffic uses port 80, and a POP3 email server uses port 110. QSYS Audio uses ports 6511 through 6638. Layer 3 is where the majority of communication protocols do their work, which identifies the data's source and destination IP addresses. An internet protocol address, or IP address, is a set of four numbers that looks something like this. These four numbers represent your device's virtual address in the world. You can sort of consider the first part your state, the second part your city, the third part your streets, and the fourth part your house number. Typically, the IP addresses for all the devices on your network will be the same except for the fourth number. You can choose this address manually, or you can have any device automatically assigned an IP address, which is usually handled with your network router. Routers specifically deal with transporting data from network to network, which is why you need one for the devices on your network to access other networks such as the internet. QSYS devices all have their own IP address, which you can modify using the configurator tool in the designer software. Because of this, QLAN is considered to be a Layer 3 service. Layer 2 is the data link layer, where data is assigned additional data link tags including a checksum, which the receiving end will use to confirm the entire data segment has been received. Simple switching and bridging operate at layer 2. Consider the difference between a router and a switch. What a network switch does is look at everything that is connected to it and create a table of that information using the MAC addresses of the devices it finds. A MAC address is a permanent and unique name for a device, like a social security number. While an IP address points to a network's location, it doesn't specify what device is going to be found there. For instance, if you move out of your house, that address will still exist, but visitors won't find what they were expecting. A switch keeps track of the MAC addresses of everything it's connected to and shares that list with other switches and routers it's connected to as well. Basically, the switch defines your network and the router shares your network to other networks. And yes, there are plenty of devices that do routing and switching. Finally, layer 1 is the physical layer. These are the actual wires and cabling that connect devices together. And this includes things you might not consider to be physical, such as wireless signals. But if it carries a signal through the world, it operates on this layer. This is the point where your data and all of the information that's been added to it along the way is broken down into ones and zeros. So let's take a quick break right here, and feel free to move on to the next section whenever you're ready.